Hey guys, this is Shukesh Bunik once again and you are watching the 5th episode of the tips and tricks series reviews on this awesome Samsung Galaxy Note 3. For the past 4 episodes, check the description below. Now in this episode, I am going to mainly cover the music player, video player and the browser. Hopefully you will find this video as interesting as before. Now here on the music player, with the help of the air view feature, you can check the previous and the next songs just by hovering your finger over the buttons. You can skip songs just by swiping on the screen or you can wave your hand in the air over the display. Turn on the air gesture feature for that. Put your hand on the screen to instantly pause a song and there is also another very popular gesture that is flip your phone and the song will be paused automatically. You must be familiar with the music square feature of Samsung phones. Here you will get 4 axis music library and you can just select your preference according to your mood. I personally use this feature a lot and this thing really works. From the menu you will get an option for changing the axis from moods to years. I also want to mention the innovative group play feature. This feature enables your smartphone to connect with other compatible smartphones and play the same song simultaneously on all the phones. You will get cool stereo effects as well. One thing I want to mention here, the music square feature is not available out of the box. You have to check the settings and turn that option on. Visit the music menu and this is the option to check. Well one of the notable improvements on this Note 3 from the previous Note 2 and the S4 is this redesigned Sound Alive equalizer. This 4 axis approach is very user friendly. You will love to play with this feature. You can apply some cool effects as well. Some of these effects are exclusively for the headset. There are some advanced options you can play with. You can change the clarity, bass and the 3D effects of the headphone. I have already explained this adapt sound feature in the previous episodes. As you know this feature enables your phone to detect your hearing capability and the quality of the headphone you are using and render sound accordingly. You have to calibrate first of course. Smart volume will automatically adjust the average volume of all of your tracks to an equal level so that your ears don't get hurt. Well last but not the least is the voice control feature. That is you can control the music player with your voice just by giving some predefined commands like play, pause, previous, next, volume up, volume down etc. Next let me now show you some tricks on the video player. As you know with the help of the air view feature, you can just hover your finger over the video thumbnails and check a quick preview of the videos with sound. This obviously works with S Pen. But in addition to that, while hovering with S Pen, you will get this different type of pointer and if you press the button on the S Pen, you will get these options for renaming, deleting, sharing, etc. Here in the video player, if you hover your S Pen over the sig bar, you can get a quick preview. Now if you press and hold on the sig bar and move up, you can get this detailed sig at half the speed and if you move further, you will get the sig speed reduced to 1 by 4 x. This feature is helpful in large video files. Just like the music player. You can flip the phone to pause a video and you can also put your hand on the screen to pause. If you press the power key, you can lock the screen, including the capacitive keys. As you know, you can change the volume just by swiping on the right side and by swiping on the left, you can change the brightness. You must be familiar with this pop-up play. You can do your normal task and watch a movie simultaneously. Let me now quickly give you a demo of the smart pause feature. As you know if you swipe down from the top edge of the phone twice, you can get your notification panel and you can turn on your respective settings. 
This smart pause feature will enable your phone to pause if you look away from the phone and the video will resume if you look back. I am now looking away from the phone. The video has been paused and I am now looking back. The video resumed. This wonderful feature also works on YouTube. Well guys, now let me show you some tricks on the browser. The tab view of this new browser is changed and I really liked this new view. This is the official website of Gadgets Portal that is gadgetsportal.in. With the help of your S Pen, you can get a mouse pointer like experience just like your PC and Mac. And as you know, Note 3 supports Air View with both finger and S Pen. By hovering your finger, you can get a zoomed view of the website, and in this way, you can easily read the small text. Note 3 supports Smart Scroll feature introduced with Galaxy S4. That is, you can scroll a website just by tilting your phone or tilting your head. I am now looking down and the website is scrolling down automatically. I am now looking up. This is such a nice feature to show off. I can also tilt the phone to do the same. If I press and hold on the text, I can select a part and from this pop-up menu, I can translate the selected text to other languages. I can web search right from here as well. This find here is another very handy option. From the menu, you can switch to incognito mode in which web history and passwords don't get saved. From the settings, you will get an option for changing the text size. This is vital for a large display phone like this Note 3. If you want to read a website without zooming, then you should check this. I am not going to show you the scrapbooker feature because I have shown you that in the previous episodes. So check the description below for the links of those episodes. Well friends, this is the end of episode 5. Episode 6 is on the way so make sure you subscribe and keep in touch. I am going to upload lot more videos on this Note 3 which is so far an absolutely brilliant phone from Samsung. You can surely go for this amazing phone. There is no other display that is as colorful as this one and the speed of the phone is also quite impressive. Well guys that's all for today. If you have found this video quite interesting then you can share this video on Facebook, Twitter, G+, and you can also check my new games and apps channel at youtube.com slash gadgets portal play. Thanks for watching this is Shukesh Bonik and keep in touch.